Welcome to another evening in the arena. It's me, it's CDB. And for this week's Jank Tank, we are doing Experimental Frenzy in a red green shell with treasure maps, with Wayward Sword Tooth. Um, uh, if I had to name it, I would call it <laughs> Deck Vomit. You just kind of. You have these turns where you just play a whole bunch of cards out of your deck onto the battlefield. Um, when it works, it's fantastic. When it doesn't, you might see me banging my head against the wall a little on this one. Not gonna lie to you, but the upside is so high. I had to, I had to make a video with it. When it works, it is glorious. And this is probably the key card in the deck, Lanor Elves. Um, the deck plays so differently between having Lanor Elves and not having Lanor Elves, and of course. Turn one, kill your land RLs is always fun. Let's try again, because it's going to be so important that we have mana to cast Jade Light Ranger and keep hitting land drops next turn, while all these artifacts, these value artifacts, we have a few too many. Not supposed to have three of those in your hand. Okay. But our opponent sticks to one land. Let's get the gateway cooking. And now a rigging runner. So mono red on one land. That's what we're dealing with here. I'm trying to decide whether it's better to use the gateway or the ranger. I think the ranger to make sure that Karn comes in on time. Especially while the opponent doesn't have burn mana open. And I'll bin that. I don't really see myself using it. Not without a wild growth walker, who is in the deck, because we need a way to gain life, have board presence, buy time, since it's mostly a creature deck. Awkward hand versus awkward hand here in the opener. And second land found. I'm in trouble now. I'm sure that's what the red deck is thinking. But the backup plan of Treasure Map Karn to support the Experimental Frenzy, I'm pretty happy about that. Like, that gets me going. So we're definitely ticking up here. We'd be happy to draw some fire over in Karn's direction while also making our land drops by ticking Karn up. Still no red mana. I wonder if that makes our opponent want to give us the Bane Fire. Uh, but they go the safe route with the forest. We're definitely having issues activating our gateway as it's sat here the entire time so far. Um, but that's not to be surprised against red, which is hyper efficient. And we have to be grateful that we're getting plays onto the board at all. All right, well, I'm taking a block on the Lava Runner for sure. Happy to trade off. I feel like our opponent's sitting on a Wizard's Lightning, but I guess we'll see. It would be a really late Wizard's Lightning to save the Lava Runner, as you could have just killed it. All right, we draw the Sword Tooth. There's still a Banefire down there. But I think... It's an easy plus Karn and keep drawing pressure over to Karn. Obviously our opponent doesn't want us to have a wild growth walker, I don't think. They do? Curious. All right, here's the sword tooth. Let's just play two lands out of our hand. Resolve our wild growth walker. And we'll also trigger this gateway and finally get some use out of the thing. And the 5-5 can now attack and block as we assemble 10 permanents and have the city's blessing. Which means our opponent has to go through a big old 5-5. And that... That's not easy. That's not easy for the red deck to handle. Not without fight with fire. Our gutter snipe does pressure us without having to attack, though. Scary card, but... Okay. Opponent doesn't want to see what comes next. 
they didn't even get to see the frenzy. We were really on our way to it. Um, yeah, I think we got a weird look at the deck there. Let's go in for another. I guess the Karn Sword Tooth backup plan can still pay off. So, we'll see who's up next. Um, against Red, it's just kind of all about can you survive that early onslaught and get your engine cooking. It's really hard to do. It can be done. You also might be wondering if I play mountains in my deck. I do. I don't know where they're hiding. They're, they're, they're buried. They're, they're deep in there somewhere. Hmm. Lightning strike. Lava coil. Yeah, take your pick. Everything everything I play dies. Uh, let's get a map going, as I want to find the right cards, specifically mountains and experimental frenzies, and doing a more value-oriented approach might work out better against a deck like this. Oh, never mind. It's some kind of burn deck. Well, we do need this. I'll have to flip my map to actually use it. So we draw here, I'm looking for a land on top. Can I put a land on top? I cannot. So I'll get another look at it though with this branch walker right now. I mean, I need it, but at the same time, I don't have my red source. All right, I'll keep it. Really helps against the burn, although just, just not just guy, but is it is a lot different from playing against, say, um, the mono red version. Okay. What do we got on top? The gateway? That can go. Too many value artifacts right now. And. I don't really want to throw down the Frenzy. My opponent knows about this, but I definitely prefer to save it till I have an Explore creature to go with it. I feel like it will get countered right now. I'll go for the Elves and just go for a Mana Advantage. And pass. Hmm. Here comes Rawl. How fun. Think you can beat me? You ready to throw down the gun? <laughs> Hope we get something good. Let's see what the opponent bins. A land. This doesn't tell us much. Here's a mountain, though, off the top. Hmm. It's difficult because I could go after the raw. I could just blast it. That's a pretty safe play. But I could also work on firing up my engine, which I think is better. When my opponent's tapped out, I can get my Frenzy going, but then I can't cast my Banefire. Okay, I've decided that Rawl must die. I think I'll just fall too far behind, and it will probably ultimate before I can... Good aim. It would probably ultimate before I could really mess with my opponent from this position. So, Niv? Nope. Defender, as long as you cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender. It's the most curious card we've seen so far, by far. And leaving up mana to counter anything good, of course. So let's try to cast the Experimental Frenzy. It will like likely get countered, but since we draw another one, I'm just eager to get the counter spell phase of the game over with. Please. Okay. Into the graveyard, not to the top. That's ideal. We could play the other Frenzy with our opponent tapped out but I think I'll resolve the walker. And let's see if our opponent's got any spells left. 
Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Is their last guard also a counter? That's what I'm really scared to find out. But if it is, they'll be top decking. Alright, there's an explorer creature. Let's see if it will resolve. I think the opponent would counter that if they could. Here comes the frenzy. And there's a land. No attacks. But the frenzy is online, so we can start playing stuff, but we don't have a lot of manipulation on the battlefield. The other maps in our hand, we have one clue we can sacrifice. Not clue, treasure. Old habits. <laughs> the opponent's just not finished with their burn spells. Alright, Cyclops want to come after me? I will block. My creature's not doing anything otherwise. I would probably save that if I were in their shoes. And land off the top, sure. And Bane Fire, excellent. Could have done it for one more to make it uncounterable, but honestly, I'm not that worried about the resolution. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Having the elf is probably better than having the um, treasure sitting around. As it is right now, this land will go to the hand next turn, which is fine because running into land clumps is how you mess up your frenzy. So when you end your turn with a land on top, it's totally fine to draw it and put it in your hand, I would say. Then we'll get this land off the very top. And there's a Karn. That's a pretty sweet reveal. Do I get my Karn? I do! I will fight for my... I will defend my allies. Alright. I think we'll play out the Explorer cards. I usually tick Karn up when I, once again when I get kind of land stuck. It is awkward because the opponent can give you the best cards if they want to because you can't play them, but eventually, eventually, the Karn will build up. I can go Graveyard now. And now Karn can go up. A curious choice. It is sort of combo-ish, though. Um, obviously, Karn and Treasure Map can really get going and help take over a game, but since the opponent usually gives you the worst card with the Karn anyway, you're not usually missing much by taking them off the top and putting them into your hand. Don't need that land. And a Sword Tooth. I would like that. I don't think I have a way to get it, though. I don't have a treasure sitting around. Cannonade? Well, that's a bummer. I mean, we could scry it to the bottom, but I think it's better off in our hand than on the bottom of the deck. The Frenzy can be blown up if we ever want to. In fact, maybe that's the play next turn, to be honest. We'll see what shows up on top of the library. Since we have another one, we do have to be wary of counter magic, but still. Uh-oh. Please stop. I do not feel bad. Uh-oh. In fire down the Karn. Alright, we'll go land. Yeah. They're tapped out. Six, seven, eight, nine. So we can sack this. Play this. Go you. Play one, two, three. Play you. And bottom this. And then another frenzy for another turn. In the meantime, we'll see if the opponent has the answer to another 5-5. Five, five. Oh, they've got Drake. Drake's really good. Gonna need, gonna need a big turn.
Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's cook. Karn. Is Karn good? I don't think it solves my problems. Well, my opponent does need two turns to kill me. They're at 20. All right, let's go. Until you have lived, the evil must not be tolerated. Bottom this one and make a whole bunch of treasure. Land. Stuck on land. So we've played too many land. We've played our two lands of the turn now. Ooh, frenzy gross. I guess I could draw it. But we're not going to get much further this turn anyway. Awaken. And let's try to dial up the pressure. I think it's our best chance. How hard can they hit us? Uh oh. Might be harder than I thought. There is a wild growth walker down here, but it's not exiled with Karn. It was exiled by Lava Coil. Alright, we got a tough choice here. I don't think our Karnstruct will get us there. So I think now with the information I have, I have to start pitching treasures to get deeper in the deck and find the right card. Um, the other Banefire being the right card. What do we got? 23 cards in the deck. We are flying through it. Oh, both Banefires are spent. So what do, what do I need? Wild Growth Walker? There's only one left. Ugh. What else actually does something here? Not much. All right, here we go. You can vomit out a bunch of Karns, but I don't love that. I mean, the opponent just blocks, they live. So I think I gotta start by putting this one on the bottom. Not something that can really help me. Do I know any other? All right, there's a Jade Light Ranger. The unfortunate thing about that Ranger is I need a Wild Growth Walker for it to be relevant. But it does get me too deeper. Okay, another Sword Tooth. But I think I gotta just bin bin. Two of them, awkward. All right. Land on top, not good. The choices we make reveal who we are. And the top is another map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many rangers do I have left? Uh actually plenty. Well, two. Thirteen cards. Oof. Hit another land. There's a ranger. So somewhere in here is a walker. Can I actually make this happen? I don't know. Hey, I'm working on it. Jeez, game. I'm definitely taking plenty of game action since running my timer. God, the card's just, it's so deep. 
It's so deep, it's so far away. I don't think this is gonna do. Because now it's gonna be on top. Draw. Yeah. I need this then into Branch Walker, so I need it to be the top card of my library now. And then maybe next turn I can blow up Frenzy and play this. And then I think I'm still dead to the Drake. Ah, oh, man, this has not been good. A, a, a mad frenzy that cannot beat a flyer. It's very depressing. I, I hit past turn. Please don't run my timer anymore, game. I'm really... Hmm, that's a little frustrating. Well, I'm dead to the attack if the opponent decides to do it. I'm trying to let them win. They are fidgeting, and I don't know why. Okay. That's why... That's why I would much rather concede, because of things like that. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it, but for those of you who don't follow my comments closely, I've been... One of the more active threads was people complaining that I concede when my opponent could be attacking for lethal because they don't get to complete their quests. Um, things like that. It's bad enough to lose. It's even worse when the opponent's like, hmm, I could kill you, but I'll also play this and this and this. I don't enjoy that. It makes me feel worse. And making me feel worse isn't worth letting my opponent do quests, to be honest. I'm trying to work on it for, you know, the YouTubes. The YouTubes wants to see me be perfect for everyone all the time, but it's really hard. It's an is it kind of night. It's a stormy night. All right, tormenting voice, being fire to the bin. Uh, ah, ah, I think we'll get a map going. And I'll mark upkeep because I definitely want to try to scry to a land. Let's hit lock it, huh? Interesting. All right, we did it. Living the life. I think we'll play out the elf, see if it dies. And then, I don't know that I want to scry this draw step. I can always try to hit a land next turn with map branch walker shenanigans. And there's the lightning strike for the elf, because our opponent lives on the bolt the bird mentality. And that's not a land. Opponent might want to counter a branch walker? I'd find that weird, but you never know. And we did hit our land, so that worked well. Hitting land drops, hecka important throughout the game. And we're gonna try again. If we decide that it's right to play a card in this turn, we can always pitch, um, we can always pitch some treasures. But we did hit our land. Things going swimmingly. Let's see if the opponent wants to zap our branchy. Get him. All right. Very likely our opponent has some kind of a counter spell. What should we offer them? I offer you Karn. We do have another, after all. Please do not do that. Yeah, that's how I feel. But they rarely listen to me. So many islands. League Guild Mage. Four mana draw a card. Red and X. Copy an instant or sorcery. Oh boy. 
This one could get saucy. Let's see if our opponent, if our creature can get in there. All right. Does the opponent want to counter the card? I guess we'll start with. Well, I want to play both of these. Um, all right. Yeah. Let's see if our opponent wants to mess with Karn. Right, right. So we can make a make a big creature, but I think I'm still in the accumulating resources section of the game since we're not under a lot of pressure. And we get a green seeker. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'll go for the Green Seeker. I'm guessing Essence Scatter might be among the cards my opponent still has. And I'll end here. Perfectly fine with holding these back, at least for a minute. So our opponent's gonna draw off the locket. I don't think I even really want to draw off my treasures. Hmm, let me think about that. So, having more cards in the hand could be a bad thing, of course. Uh, when you're using Experimental Frenzy. At the same time, having lands to play off the sword to sounds wise. Yeah, I'm gonna block with my Green Seeker. Very happy my opponent is tapping their Guild Mage at all. If they have, like, a Shock here, that's fine too. I'm not that attached to my Green Seeker. Perfectly fine with my opponent using resources on it. Indeed. Zap, 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 zap. And Lightning Strike heads upstairs on Karn. I'm pretty sure you could have copied a Lightning Strike with the Guild Mage. And that you would have had a really good effect. I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for sacking. And we get you, and we get you, oh my. Are you certain of your decision? Lands, yay. Let's see if we can acquire a few more lands. Yes, we can. Which makes this much better. Now we're sort of doing it. Yeah, if the opponent doesn't get their flyer, their crackling drake, or their niv mizzets online, well, there's niv mizzet. Fortunately for me, I don't play too many instants or sorceries, but I think my opponent's more than willing to help me out. All right, let's get out the walker. What's down here? There's a branchy. Yeah, we're gonna need all the help we can get here. Don't... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll play this. I'll probably hit some lands right off the top here. Yep. Yep. Do it. Go team, go! Actually, does that help me more? Yeah, it could. Is it really worth my two treasures? I don't know. But let's find out. Everything's just turning out so well. <laughs> Playing so many land. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's really fun. Um... Bam, bam. I think we should just attack with everything able and keep the pressure nice and high. Niv can pick off something if it needs to. Oh, didn't block a Jade Light even. Find that curious. 
So let's see how much damage Niv can do. Niv is a monster. But is it a good enough monster for this moment? Trying to pick on Branchy. Water Knot. Not a combo with Niv, but you do what you gotta do. And the scoops. All right. Uh, highs and lows with the red-green Experimental Frenzy deck. Now that I think about it, I don't think we actually ripped the deck box open and looked under the hood. Let's give it a quick one, quick look over. And what do we got? We got four Llanowar Elves, some Banefires up here on the top end, a Dry Green Seeker. I'm not a big believer in this card, but as far as a one of, I was kind of running out of things to play. Then we got Branches and Wild Growth, Azer's Gateway. It was It's a test. I always want a treasure map like effect on the field, but I wasn't always getting it. And the Gateway gives you a way to gain life plus make a million mana, which I thought would go really well. We didn't get to see that action yet, but maybe someday. Up to you if you want to keep it in, or you could always run more dry green seekers. I wouldn't get mad at you. The sword tooths, I think, are necessary. I wouldn't run this deck without them. And that means you have to be willing to spend your rares on sword tooth. I don't know of any other deck this is good in. So, um, proceed with caution. You must, you better love this deck a lot to spend your rare wild cards on sword tooth. That or you really don't care about your rare wild cards or the money. So, uh, be careful. This is this is the deck that you will play. You will get to go total jank mode and have fun some amount of time, as we did. And it will fail miserably some amount of time and be sad. I am warning you. I'm not trying to crap on the deck. I know what this deck is. I know what it's for. And it's not always going to be a delight. <laughs> so, proceed with caution. But then, yeah, J Light Ranger, the Explorer package, the life gain is really important to get to have as many frenzy turns as possible, plus it really helps fuel the frenzy. And the Karns, the Karn treasure map plan can be good enough in many matchups on its own. Then the lands, we have two Field of Ruins, kind of ironing out the mana base a little because also, besides blowing up uh, Search for his Kanta and such, it also shuffles the deck so it can change your top card with the frenzy. Most of the time, a big bane fire is how the deck gets its finishings has a serious weakness to flyers. Not sure how to shore that up. I had Vivian Reed in here. Honestly, it was a bit too clunky. Coming down after Frenzy was a big problem because you really, there are plenty of games where you want to play this on like turn four or five and you strand Vivian in your hand or Vivian turns up when you don't have the mana cast it off the Frenzy, then you draw the Vivian, a lot of sadness. Um, but maybe you can solve the flying problem. Some Harpooners, maybe what you need and i tried this uh cruel harpooner oops that's the deck name section silly me i tried the harpooner that's not how you spell it i guess there it is crawl crawl harpooner insect warrior um this might be what you need i've seen some versions running it you don't always fill your graveyard which is awkward but maybe it's where you need to be if there's a sideboard definitely play these okay I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've both enjoyed and loathed my experience with the Frenzy, so be careful what you're getting into. Thanks for watching the, the Jank Tank this week. As always, I will see you in the next video. Good night.